Are you considering adding a calcium supplement to your quail? I'm going to discuss why you may or may not want to add that in today's video, so stick around. Hey there, welcome back to another Slightly Redneck video. Uh, my name's Chris, and today I'm going to be addressing a comment from a viewer by the name of Arthur Cordero, who commented on one of my videos about adding calcium to my quail because they need the extra calcium. And I thought I'd debunk some of that today for you and clear some of that up as whether you do or you don't need to add a calcium supplement. Um, what I'm going to be referencing today is mostly a study by somebody, somebody by the name of uh, B.F. Miller, uh, published in 1967 in the Poultry Science Journal. Um, and it had a very extensive study about feed requirements for quail and their mineral requirements. Specifically, he studied the calcium requirements of quail, both in young quail and in egg layers. What he found is that if about 0.5% of their diet is made up of calcium, then young quail are going to grow just fine. Um, he found that it's a little bit of a higher requirement for uh, adult birds, so anywhere from about 1.5% to about 2.5% of the diet should be made up of calcium calcium for the for the adult birds to maintain proper bone ratios and to continue laying eggs very well and you can go as high as about three percent there's some interesting things found in this study and why you may not want to add extra calcium for your quail one is if you up the calcium requirements over or up the calcium percentage to about four four point five percent he found that it retarded the growth of the quail that they grew much much slower as a result of that so that's especially something you probably don't want to add with your younger quail he also found that if you're over three point five percent of their diet then uh, it affects the hatchability and your hatch rates will go down. This is the, the game bird feed that I'm using. It's a game bird starter uh, from one of the local box stores here and it's got a tag on it. If you look at your tag requirements, this feed is a 1.5% calcium it's 1.5% it's calcium. So if I'm feeding exclusively this game bird starter, then this provides them with 1.5% of their diet being calcium. But the problem you get into is that with 1.5% of the diet being calcium, if you add a calcium supplement and just give it to them free, then they're probably going to be getting too much calcium in their diet. So it may be something that you might want to be concerned with. Uh, bottom line is, as long as your feed has anywhere from 1.5 to 2% of the uh, ratio made up of calcium, you probably don't need to worry about adding any kind of calcium supplements to it. Watch your birds and see how the eggs, eggs turn out. If, the eggs, if you're getting a whole bunch of them with real thin shells or no shells at all, then you might want to add a little bit of calcium to their feed. Other than that, it's not really a major concern with uh, Caternix quail. So, Hopefully that clears that up for you. Okay, as far as the update portion of this video goes, there's really not much to talk about. I've got my jumbo birds still in the other hutch, which is just off camera, you can't see here, but there's, there's not much going on with them. They haven't started laying eggs yet. They've been there for about two weeks, but they're still going through. It was a big change moving them from where I got them to here. Uh, and, and I expect any day now they're gonna start laying eggs. And this hutch is still made up of my older birds that you've seen over and over again. So not much to show out there. They're still producing eggs like crazy. Um, I'll keep you updated as things change here. and. Uh, other than that, leave a comment below if there's something that you'd like to have discussed or if you're doing something differently with your birds. Love to hear about it. Thank you for watching, and as always, God bless.